What's up? It's your boy Carcino here, man. And when I tell you things is out of the ordinary or crazy, that's exactly what it is, man. I mean, <sighs> I understand people have a television show or they have a job they got to do, so they got to say different things that don't really mesh up or match up to what the reality and the perception is and they got to do a show so I get you know I get it you know what I'm saying I understand but it's sometimes you got to keep it within the realm of believable and make points and make sense now a lot of the things Shannon has said you know they omit certain things and it's fun it's entertaining to listen to I laugh, I watch it, I crack up, you know. They do a great job. They do a great job. I mean, uh, Skip, they do a great job on the show, and it's entertaining. And it's done for entertainment value. Okay, but what people have to realize here is that there is a thin line between fries and shakes. <laughs> no, um, there's a thin line from reality and just a complete falsehood. Shannon Sharp believes that if he and Michael Jordan was on the same team playing the game of basketball and Michael Jordan was to say a word to him and that he didn't like in a certain manner that he would have beat up Michael Jordan they would have been fighting in that locker room if he would have disrespected him like that said that that was the only thing he couldn't take and nobody was going to disrespect him so him and Michael Jordan would have had to been fighting on the team that would have been Shannon Sharp's last day on that team of the Chicago Bulls <laughs> It wasn't that people was afraid to fight Michael Jordan. They know he's the franchise. So if Michael Jordan's going to say something, then, yeah, and be disrespectful, I'm sorry. He's not doing it just to be disrespectful. He's saying it because he wants to win. Now, you might look at him as an a-hole and all this stuff, but he wants to win. He wants to accomplish this goal that keeps eluding him you know so he was doing it to win Isaiah Thomas was doing it to win all the leaders people never understand what's on their shoulders and what they have to bear when they're leading their team or being successful or all of these things that are going on while they're going on their journey to try to win a championship but Shannon Sharp has gone too far. Saying that you would put hands on Michael Jordan and all of these different things. It's like, look, we understand you're capping for LeBron. But on the same platform back in 2016, he was basically saying how Michael Jordan was the GOAT back then. Like, I would say right now Jordan's probably the best. And then now... I don't know why um, it's 100% LeBron James. Um, it switched to LeBron and it just stayed there. I don't know what LeBron has did in the poor fast four or five years that would put him ahead of Michael Jordan on anything. Um, he's not in the same room or the category of a lot of these other players. But it feeds into the the debate. Of uh, all of these uh, fans who just don't understand basketball, but they understand social media. And because they understand social media, you know, people believe in the perceptions more than reality. Realistically, there's no way LeBron James would be in the same category as these people. But through the imagination and the fiction of the Walt Disney era of the NBA that we're watching today, they try to make that into a reality.
Now, if I told you Mickey Mouse is not real and he wasn't walking around, you would know that, okay, yeah, of course, he's an animated character. Why would Mickey Mouse be walking around? Exactly. You didn't see Mickey Mouse walking around. But now it's like these people on the Internet is like, no, he was walking around. I see it on the Internet. Look, there's Mickey Mouse right there. He's walking around. Hell, you mean he's not walking around? And it's like, do you tell them that Mickey's not real and he's on paper? And he's on digital and someone drew Mickey? Or do you just let them live in their delusion? That's what you're faced off with today, in today's time. This is what you're up against. So when LeBron, I mean, when Shannon Sharp makes these ridiculous uh, defensive statements or trying to tear down Michael Jordan and comparing him to LeBron, as even Shaq said, Jordan's the best. And it's not about you calling yourself the best. It's about your peers. Whoa, they're, what are they saying about you? You got players that's in his own era that played with him saying Michael Jordan's the best. Never played against Jordan. Never played against Mike. But they've seen Mike. LeBron has tried to copy. His whole career is based off copying everybody else. He's made his whole career off trying to be like Mike and everybody else. Took his number, everything. But you're not Mike. You're not close to Mike. You're LeBron. And you were chosen to be the false puppet that you are. Now, because I keep telling the truth and Shannon keeps lying to the public, we're at this standstill because he makes himself look like a fool every week when he tries to defend LeBron James with Michael Jordan. The last dance has nothing to do with LeBron James. Nothing. So why do you feel a need to try to defend him? Because this makes it look like he wasn't in the same category as Michael Jordan. Of course not. But I can show you a highlight reel of Vince Carter and show you he wasn't in the same room as Vince. I can show you a highlight reel of anybody. I can have a highlight reel of Eric Snow. And you might be like, man, Eric Snow was better than I thought. They're highlights. They don't show you turnovers in a highlight. They don't show you missed shots. But what we do see is he went to the final six times, and six times he won championships. In his final year in the NBA, playing for the Chicago Bulls, and he made his final championship run, Michael Jordan Michael Jeffrey Jordan Okay? You want to know his numbers? Out of this world. Okay? He was 34, 35 years of age. He won MVP of the All-Star Game. He was MVP of the season. He was MVP of the NBA Finals.
all in the same year. Now, he tries to say Shannon. Oh, but LeBron, no, 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 skip, no, skip. Michael Jordan has never played anybody bigger than the, the Golden State Warriors big folk. Tell me when Michael Jordan had to face something like that in the NBA Finals. Yeah, I'll wait. Huh? Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, two-time MVP, Kevin Durant's MVP. You got Klay Thompson, and you got Draymond Green. Not to mention Iggy Skip. <laughs> now, though that, that team looks pretty, you got to remember, this is in the Walt Disney basketball era, okay, where a lot of these players would be on the bench if they played in the 90s. And note, note I said 90s. Now, them playing in the 90s, is an entirely different scenario than playing now. Okay? Different rules, different approach. This is a let them score game. Back then, it was catered to let's stop them from scoring. I don't want them to score. That's what you were up against. That's what you were facing. So, with that being said, we move to the other point. The other biggest statement. Because, believe me, the Golden State Warriors would not have won an NBA championship with Kevin Durant on the team in any year of the 1990s against any team in the NBA. They might not have even made the playoffs. And I'm just being honest. And there's no hate on LeBron with that. And I like the Golden State Warriors, you know that. But they wouldn't have won back then. So they wouldn't have been the bad boy Pistons. They wouldn't have beat that team. They wouldn't have beat none of the Bulls championship teams. They would have lost. Jordan would have beat that team. Now, what is Shannon's other big argument, right? His other biggest statement, LeBron James, LeBron Ramon James, Skip, he's special, Skip, he's special. He real Skip. Now, come on, Skip. He's led his team in NBA Finals in rebounding, assists, blocks, and points. When has anybody else ever done that? Led the, not only did he lead his team, he beat the other team too. When has anybody ever done that, Skip? Now, that's special. You got to give him that. When did Michael Jordan ever do that? I rest my case. Well, that's cute, Shannon. That's real cute stat. But you know what was so cute about it, Shannon, is that they went to seven games. They played a whole seven-game series to get to that point. Right? He's never done that again. Michael Jordan wasn't in there to try to lead the team in rebounds. He wasn't in there to be leading the team in scoring. He wasn't in it to lead them in assists. He was there to win an NBA championship. And he did it every time he went. He didn't have time to waste. He didn't say, oh, man, I'm going to get some experience in this one. Then for the next time I come back, I'll be ready. No. He didn't have that in him. Okay? He had to get it done while he was there and he got it done every time all the time 
That's like if I go to the girl's house six times and I sleep with her six times, and you go nine times to the house but only slept with her three times, you know, how can I say you better than me? <laughs> how can I put you in that conversation? You, you're not you're not in the room. <laughs> you're out. You feel me? So don't forget, man. Support your boys, Cash App. Carcino's the name on the Cash App. I hope you guys get this notification. It's kind of hard out here. They making it real hard on me. You know, the devils, the devils are working hard, baby, to try to keep you from seeing the videos. But we going to, hey, subscribe to my Twitter. Carcino's the name on that Twitter. I'll send you guys the tweets. So I know you'll get it then. So definitely follow my Twitter so you'll definitely get the tweets. And we're going to keep coming. Keep it coming. Oh, yeah. And my Carcino for Life, we got an exclusive on the Patreon. Just thought you should know. I'm out.